Good morning to all. Myself, Dr. Nitin Deepak. I am working as an associate professor in Amrapali Group of Institute. Today we learn embedding of JavaScript in HTML. As we all know, HTML is an static web page uh, designing tool and it is a markup language. Here we learn JavaScript embedding in HTML as JavaScript is an interactive scripting language which gives life to HTML. Our objectives today is introduction to JavaScript, embedding JavaScript in HTML, inline embedding, internal embedding and external embedding. So uh, what is JavaScript? JavaScript is an object based portable and lightweight scripting language. It is basically object based uh, scripting language which deals with all validations and programming at client side. JavaScript was developed for the purpose of bringing web pages to life. That means JavaScript is a scripting language which is used to make a web page dynamic or interactive. That means bringing web, web pages to life. JavaScript must be embedded in HTML page to execute. That means if you want to execute a JavaScript, that then uh, you need an HTML web page. So we have to embed JavaScript with HTML page to execute. As you all uh, viewing this HTML form at right side, it is a basic HTML form which is created by a uh, markup language called HTML. So if we need to make it live, to make it interactive, we need JavaScript for anonymous users. When working with files for the web, JavaScript needs to be loaded and run alongside HTML markup. This can be done either in line with an HTML document or in a separate file. That browser will download along the side of HTML document. So there are three ways to embed JavaScript in HTML. First is inline, second is internal, and third one is external. So let's start with inline. So the inline JavaScript filter reduces the number of requests made by a web page by inserting the contents of a small external JavaScript resources directly into the HTML document. That means in inline JavaScript, uh, we can place JavaScript code in an HTML element itself. When the inline JavaScript filter is enabled, the contents of a small external JavaScript resources are written directly into the HTML document. That means if we want to execute JavaScript in inline, we have to place a JavaScript code, a script code in an HTML element. Therefore, the browser does not request those JavaScript resources. So by this inline JavaScript, if, if you have a small code, you can place JavaScript in an HTML element itself so that some resources can be easily incorporated with HTML and there is no need to uh, call external resources to call JavaScript. Just like uh, there is a line called button, so the green code on click is an event which is here to call JavaScript just like alert hello world. So with this code, if you play, if you click a button, it will say alert hello world in a system dialog box. By using JavaScript events, we can execute JavaScript. Uh, the most important aspect is that if you want to execute JavaScript when uh, JavaScript is embedded in HTML, we need events just like on click, on blur, blah blah, just like mouse uh, events or uh, keyboard events or load events. So uh, with those events, we can execute JavaScript. The second one is internal JavaScript. JavaScript can be added directly to the HTML file by writing code inside the script tag. So here in internal JavaScript, we need a script tag. In that script tag, we have to write JavaScript code, then we can call that code or a method or a function to HTML elements. We can place the script tag either inside the head or the body tag according to the need. So uh, if you want to write a JavaScript in HTML page with the help of a script tag, then that script tag can be written in inside the head tag or a body tag. It's according to the need. There is an example with the code. Here in body tag, I place the script tag having an attribute called type text oblique JavaScript, which is a media type. And there is a function inside a script tag called call me. And in that function call me, there is a uh, system dialog box called alert, alert hello world. And after closing the script tag, I again write a button code of HTML element here 
we are not exactly directly uh, write an alert hello world in HTML element. We are actually calling the method which is prepared in an script tag. So here, when you click an on click, uh, when you click that button with the event called on click, then it calls the function called call me and which execute a JavaScript called alert hello world. So this is the way uh, we can write internal JavaScript. We can place as many as functions we can and we need, we require. So this is the way we can uh, place JavaScript internally into an HTML element, HTML document. Another one, uh, there's a uh, bigger picture of that code. Here we are uh, placing call me in script tag and after that in but from button we are calling that uh, call me method. So uh, internal JavaScript is the way if we need a HTML code more clean, uh, rather placing an JavaScript code in an HTML element, we are actually placing a method in a script tag so that uh, we can make our page more clean and separate the HTML document with an script tags. Before going to the external JavaScript, let's understand the script tag, which is used to link the external JavaScript file to the HTML page. So uh, if we want to link an external uh, JavaScript to the HTML page, we need a script tag, which can be written again, it, is, it can be written in a head tag or in body tag. The tag is as follows, a script, a script is a tag, SRC, SRC means source. Uh, this is an attribute of a script tag. And there is another, another attribute called type, this is called media type. Media type, it is used to specify the MIME type of a script and identify the content of the tag. It has default value, which is called text oblique JavaScript. SRC is the source. That means uh, we have to given source that means we have to give a source or a url of an javascript file to place that uh, file in the script tag so let's understand what is external javascript the other way is to write javascript code in another file having .js extension so for that javascript file we have to place .js extension to make it a javascript file and then link the file inside the head or a body tag of the html file in which we want to add this code. Here is an example. Uh, there is a file called myscript.js and in that file, there is a method called call me. That method, which is actually used in internal JavaScript, I place that code again in an external JavaScript so that I can show you how to write an external JavaScript and again, I can call that method called call me. Function, function is a reserved word of JavaScript and call me is a customized function name and uh, the code written is called alert hello world. This is an external JavaScript file named myscript.js. Now here in HTML file, we have to place a script tag displayed by an arrow. A script, uh, line number one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh line. You can see on seventh line, there is a tag called a script tag inside the head tag. A script src means source and my file name is myscript.js and type is text oblique javascript and this type is actually identifying whether the file is of javascript or uh, cascade styling sheets uh, so the file is javascript that's why the media type is text oblique javascript so myscript.js is an external file which is now linked to the html document here again in body tag there is a html there is an html element called button on click and in that on click event, we are calling that method called call me. Before this slide, uh, there is a function called function call me and here it is an executable code called alert hello world. So by clicking the button on click call me, we can call that method from external JavaScript and execute the JavaScript code. This is the very better method. This is a very good method. Uh, this is a very good way to uh, execute JavaScript external uh, with an external file so that we can make our code clean and with the help of that external JavaScript file, we can call that JavaScript file as in N, as many as pages we want. There is a recommendation for our user. All scripts should be external both for maintenance and performance wise. That means uh, if you want to use a script like JavaScript, all, always maintain an external file 
so that that common file can be used as many as places in HTML document. If you have 25 odd HTML files, you can call that a script in every HTML document if, if there are some common functions. For performance, because if the code is separate, it can easier be cached by browsers. JavaScript doesn't belong in HTML code. And if it contains special characters, such as less than or greater than, it even creates a problems. Nowadays, web scalability has changed. Reducing the number of requests has become a valid consideration due to the latency of making multiple HTML requests. So to reduce the number of requests so that everything is uh, not loading at once in an HTML uh, HTTP request, that's why the external JavaScript is the better way to embed HTML with JavaScript. In most cases, having JavaScript external file is still recommended. But for certain cases, especially very small piece of code, inline them into a sites of HTML makes sense. This lecture will strengthen you in understanding JavaScript and its association with HTML page. This lecture will also give you an insight of inline, internal and external JavaScript effectively. Now you can create your own interactive web pages with manageable HTML and JavaScript files. So with this lecture, uh, if you go through a slide, you can easily understand how to embed JavaScript with HTML pages in three ways. First is inline, second one is internal, and third one is external. Recommendation is for you, if uh, the code is more than you are expecting, then external JavaScript is better. If, if some uh, extra scripted code is less than uh, you need, then go for an inline one. So JavaScript can be embedded in HTML page in three ways. We had learned inline, internal, and external. And external JavaScript is the best way to embed JavaScript in HTML page as it reduces complexity of the code and can use the common code in more than one HTML file. So this is all about embedding JavaScript with HTML file. Thank you. Thank you so much.